Where is the best place to buy your sneakers? I bought six pairs of sneakers from Go eBay and StockX to find out. And to make this video as fair and as unbiased as possible, this video is not sponsored by anybody. Well, not anybody that we're talking about in today's video. This video is brought to you by Apothecary, my sock brand, which, if you haven't heard, makes your sneakers favorite socks. They go great with all the sneakers in your collection, and they're incredibly comfortable on foot. Plus, we just dropped our Valentine's Day collection, which is linked in the description below. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'm actually giving away a pair of Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines from this video. And of course, if you want to find out how you can win this pair for yourself, make sure to stay tuned till later on in the video. But hey, with that out of the way, let's dive right into the video. Whenever you want to buy a pair of sold out sneakers, you've got a few options. You can buy it locally through a meetup, you can buy it from a resale store, or you can buy it online at places like StockX. While there are countless places to buy sneakers online, the main platforms that I'm looking at today are sites that offer sneaker authentication in-house. There's only one shoe in here. At least it's authentic. And in that category of sites that allow for buying and selling and in-house authentication, there are three main players, at least in the US. The websites that I'm referring to are StockX, Goat, and eBay. Each one of these platforms allows you to buy a pair of sneakers listed on their website from a seller. The seller then ships the shoes to the website's in-person authentication center. Once the shoes have been authenticated, they ship them directly to you, the buyer. This not only ensures that the pair that you're buying is authentic, but also that you're getting the exact shoe that you want in the size that you want and in the condition that you want it. While these services have a few different between them. For example, Goat and eBay allow you to purchase used shoes, whereas StockX doesn't. And StockX and Goat allow you to purchase pre-authenticated pairs that ship directly from their warehouse to you, meaning shipping time is like two to three days versus two weeks. They all generally do the same thing. And because of that, I want to find out which website is the best. So I ordered two pairs of the same shoes from each website at the same exact time to figure out which website would get to be the fastest, the cheapest, and in the best condition. All right, so let's order some sneakers. So my plan is to order two pairs of sneakers from each service, one pair that's been out for like six months to a year and one pair that hasn't even come out yet and the reason I want to order a pair that hasn't even come out yet is because I feel like a lot of people are a little wary about buying sneakers early through these apps and I want to one check if they're authentic two, see how long it takes for them to ship and also three see what kind of condition they're in which is also what I'm trying to do with the other pair but uh, I'm especially interested on the early pairs. So the two pairs that I had in mind were the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe Lows and the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines, a pair that hasn't even released yet. And even at the time of filming this video, there hasn't even been a shock drop yet. So I'm gonna start things off by ordering both pairs on GOAT. And I think I'm gonna actually start out with the Air Jordan 4s because I'm honestly a little excited about them because I don't have a personal pair yet. All right, so it's 7 p.m. on January 17th, 2024. And the pair that I'm gonna grab from GOAT is priced at 442 and is size nine. I'm going size nines, all the same size for these Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. The shipping on GOAT is $14.75, and the total price that I'll pay is $456.75. So now that GOAT's ordered, let's move over to eBay. Now eBay is interesting because on eBay there's a lot of different listing options, and what I'm gonna try and do is find the listing that's the cheapest, but also looks the most legit. So let me kind of scroll through here, see what we can find. I mean, there's pairs from 2019, the, the new buck pairs. I think I found a pair that's decent. It's $250, but that's only for the cheapest size. I'm sure when I click size nine, yeah, $425. You know what? Let's just go with that 425 is not bad it's like what 16 or 17 dollars cheaper than goat which is pretty solid and then with shipping that's an extra 14 dollars and 95 cents so we come out to 439 dollars and 95 cents so so far ebay is in the lead with price now it's set up StockX. so actually it's looking like StockX has the cheapest pair listed that's 416 dollars but of course you're also gonna have to pay a processing fee and the shipping fee because StockX charges processing fees uh which is kind of a bummer so it looks like the processing fee for this pair is 24 dollars and 96 cents and the shipping fee is the same as it is on eBay, $14.95, which means that we are paying $455.91, which is like literally a dollar or less than a dollar cheaper than GOAT, which is crazy because before processing fees and shipping, the price is $416, whereas on GOAT, before shipping, it's $442. So you'd think it'd be a significantly cheaper shoe because it's priced so much cheaper. It's even $9 cheaper than eBay, but unfortunately, once you add in those processing fees and those shipping fees, it really starts to add up. So it looks like the cheapest pair that we bought today was eBay at $439.95. Goat came in as the most expensive at $456.75. And it looks like StockX is not far behind at $455.91. All right, let's move on to the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. So starting things off on Goat, prices are already below retail for this pair, which is incredible. I was kind of hoping that would be the case for these guys. One, because I'm trying to save money, but two, because I feel like there's a lot of pairs available. Hopefully shipping will be quick. So the pair on Goat is going for $135 plus shipping, which is $14.75. So we're paying $149.75 for this pair on GOAT. So we're gonna check out, because I feel like that's not a bad 
price. Let's jump over to eBay once again. And again, we have a lot of different options. With this shoe, there are way more options than there were with the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines because a bunch of people have these in stock. So I'm gonna go for this pair. I feel like that's fine. It's priced at 124.88 plus $14.95 shipping, which means that we're gonna pay $139.83 total on eBay, which is not bad and $10 cheaper than GOAT. All right, so finally, we're gonna buy a pair from StockX. Now, StockX, I found a pair for $124, which is 88 cents cheaper than eBay. But again, we're gonna pay the processing fee and the shipping fee, but it looks like the processing fee for this pair is cheaper because it's a cheaper pair. Processing fee is only $6.20, and the shipping is $14.95, which means this pair comes out to $145.15 meaning that GOAT once again is the most expensive at $149.75. eBay is once again the cheapest at $139.83. And StockX once again is kind of screwing us on the processing fee. <laughs> Man, I don't know why that processing fee is so insane, but there it is. So we've ordered all the pairs. We are good to go. Now it's time to wait for them to come in. A few inches later. All right, so kind of bad news. I just got an email from GOAT saying that uh, the pair that I ordered, the Air Jordan 4s, came in, but it was damaged. It looks like the box was very damaged according to them. There's no pictures, unfortunately, so I don't know how damaged we're talking, but apparently it's damaged and they offered me a $20 discount or for them to find another pair of shoes. And because I'm trying to maintain the integrity of this series, I don't want them to have to order another pair of shoes because it might take like an extra week. So what I'm gonna do is take the $20 discount. I'll make this pair my personal pair because apparently the shoes themselves are fine. They just said the box was damaged. So I'll make this my personal pair, let them come in. Hopefully they come in around the same time as the other pairs and we'll see what happens. I mean, $20 off is not bad. It might actually make this the cheapest pair that we buy. So that's pretty solid. Shout out to GOAT for keeping me updated. I appreciate it. I wish they had sent me pictures though. That's the one thing. I wish they had sent me pictures, but it is what it is. Eventually. Uh... Woo! So the sneakers are all here. All six of them. Took a while, but they're here. And I'm gonna unbox each one of these pairs, find out if they came in the condition that they were supposed to come in, if they're authentic. Obviously, I'm not an authenticator, but I can pretty much tell when a sneaker is real or fake, especially if I already have a pair in my collection. Of course, tell you how long each one took to get here, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna go through all of the different services, tell you guys the pros and the cons, and let you guys know which one that I recommend personally. But with that being said, let's start things off with this first package. So because we had some technical difficulties with the Air Jordan 4s. I'm gonna start things off with the Air Jordan 1 because this is a pair of sneakers. It's been out for almost a year at this point. It's pretty cheap, it's like well under retail, and it should be one of the easier pairs to get quickly because people have a lot of pairs in hand. And in theory, the pairs of the Air Jordan 1s should have gotten to me first because they were probably more readily available and sellers probably had a lot of them. That ended up not being the case, but let's start things off with the first package that showed up on my door. This pair was from GOAT, it was delivered by UPS, and it took seven days from the time that I ordered it. I decided to write everything on the front of the box, one, so I would remember which shoe it was, and also because I thought it'd be kind of creative. I don't, I don't know if it's working the way that I thought it would, though. <laughs> so out of all the shoes that I ordered on January 17th, this was the very first pair to get to me. And it looks like GOAT uses UPS as their standard shipping service, which is interesting because it seems like StockX, GOAT, and eBay all use different shipping services. So I didn't expect that, but that seems to be the case. Some nice packing, actually a lot of paper packing in here, which is good to see. Oops, probably a better way to do this. I will say that the size of the box perfectly matches the Air Jordan 1, so it's not gonna be banging around a lot. It looks like the box itself is in relatively good condition. There are a couple dings and dents here and there, but again, it's a pair of sneakers that's below retail. When shoes go for below retail, people tend to be less careful with them, so the box itself seems fine. It is a size nine and a half, which is the size that uh, I decided to go with. I don't remember why that was, probably because it was cheaper, so there you go. <laughs> Oh, we got the GOAT card. This is the GOAT Assurance of Authenticity. There's a QR code in the back. I'm assuming that I'm gonna cover it up because I don't know if my address or anything pops up there, but you got a QR code that I'm sure shows you all the different points of inspection. They used to have two cards that would come along with it and one would be like punched out to show you if it passed all the different things, but I'm assuming this probably saves the money and paper. So that's probably why they're doing that. Let's check out the sneakers themselves. The Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. Looks like they're in brand new condition. I mean, they look authentic to me. This is not really a pair that I think a lot of people are faking because there's so many of them on the market. You've Got your second set of laces unopened, which is nice. Looks like the shoe itself has not been tried on or worn, which can happen with pairs ordered from Goat and StockX. I will say from personal experience, I've actually tried on pairs and then resold them through certain sites. So that is something that uh, they can't really stop. And it's not a big deal as long as you Make sure that your shoes aren't dirty when you ship them. So yeah, all good here. So I already went over the price breakdown for each one of these shoes earlier on in the video when we bought them. So I will give you guys just the total that I paid. And for this shoe, it was $149.75. And it arrived first. So that's not bad in seven days, which is actually 
really better than I expected. I don't remember exactly how long it took in the other uh, episodes from previous years. If you guys want to check those out, it'll be linked in the description below. But as of right now, it looks like it took me a week, which is pretty solid. That being said, I just don't think you're going to get pairs in under a week unless you order with instant ship. So keep that in mind. All right. So the next pair that we picked up actually showed up from StockX. So this pair took nine days from me hitting order to actually being delivered to my house and it was delivered by FedEx. And it seems like StockX uses FedEx exclusively as their delivery service now. I don't know if that was always the case, but that does seem what it's like now. So if you don't like FedEx, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't like FedEx. They always give me issues. This is uh, StockX's packing. They packed with bubble wrap versus paper, which I don't mind. The paper I like because you can recycle. I'm sure you can recycle this too, actually. Let me pop out this pair of shoes. Again, the box size seems to fit this pair of sneakers perfectly. So that's good. So the box itself seems like like it's in fine condition. Again, it's a size nine and a half. This is StockX's uh, barcode system. Obviously, GOATS was slightly different, but it is a similar system overall. We've got a receipt. It looks like I paid $145.15 for these shoes. So like $4 cheaper than GOAT. However, they are two days slower than GOAT, at least for this pair of sneakers. So let's pop them out. We've got the extra set of laces right here unopened. Uh, actually, that's interesting. Hold on one second. It looks like StockX left the paper inside the shoe and Goat didn't. Now, I don't think that Goat would take out the paper and get rid of it. I'm sure that the person who actually sold the shoes took it out and they don't require you to have it in there in order to sell it. That's something that's interesting. I wonder if that's gonna be the case in the Air Jordan 4s. But uh, yeah, no paper in the Goat pair and paper in the StockX pair. Also, it's interesting to see the inconsistency in materials between the different pairs from Nike. Like this pair is super wrinkly, the other pair isn't, but that is a Nike issue. And then the one thing that lets you know that this shoe was authenticated by StockX is the StockX tag. Now this hang tag does have a QR code on the back, but I believe this just takes you to StockX's website. I don't believe it's unique to this pair of shoes. Let me scan it really quick just to double check. There we go. It's actually kind of hard to scan because it's, it's silver instead of black. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say this, but the QR code took me to the GE Soft White 65 Watt Replacement LED 4 Inch Recessed Downlight Indoor Floodlight 1 Pack. <laughs> Not to StockX. What happened there? It was StockX. You gotta get that figured out. That's that's actually crazy. The good thing about this uh, security tag though is while it is replicated by Chinese factories, it is very difficult to remove without completely destroying it. So it is very difficult for someone to remove it and then put it onto another pair of sneakers and make it look legit. All right, so onto the final pair of sneakers and actually the last pair of sneakers that I got out of everything. Even after all the Air Jordan 4s, this was the last pair that I got. It was obviously from eBay, it came from USPS, the postal service, which I was kind of surprised that they shipped through USPS, but they do, and uh, it took 13 days. Now again, I am a little bit biased against FedEx, but I do prefer the postal service to FedEx, uh, just because I know my postman and he's a good guy. And I also like the ladies who work at the post office that I go to, so I'm a little biased in that sense, but obviously, you know, there's been problems with every service. So again, you can't guarantee just because it's coming from UPS, FedEx, or USPS that it's gonna be fine. You never know for sure. One kind of nice thing about this eBay package is that it comes in eBay branded boxes. It looks like we've also got a eBay authentication card right here. It also says that you can scan the QR code on this pair of shoes just to double check the authentication and get some like personalized info, which I think is cool. The box itself is obviously not perfectly Air Jordan 1 size, but they did use some uh, nice bubble material here or bubble wrap. This isn't bubble wrap. This is a, what is this, a pillow mailer or something? I don't know what it is. That should have mitigated the sliding around a little bit. It doesn't really look like the box is damaged, at least not from shipping. There is kind of a crease here, but I'm sure that's just from wear and tear in someone's house. It's a size nine and a half, like I mentioned. You've got the eBay tag right there. You've got the laces. It looks like they were unfortunately open. Again, could have been the person who owned the shoes before, could have been eBay, I don't know. Paper's a little ripped up, but again, could be any any reason. So the first shoe we've got inside the box is this pair right here. It does come with the eBay authentication tag. All right, let's just scan this. That's awesome. So it's actually unique to the pair of sneakers. It says the size, it says the condition. Um, it says the authentication date was January 25th. It even tells you the total sold and the average sale price. 897 sold at an average sale price of $186.71. Very, very cool that they do that. Like the tag a lot. Again, I can't guarantee that this tag cannot be faked, but uh, the fact that you can scan it and see which shoe it's associated with is super cool. But yeah, shoe looks good. Let me check the other one just in case. Looks great. So while yes, this pair from eBay did come in the latest, it was the cheapest at $139.83. And to be fair, this pair is not late because it took long to authenticate. It's late because the guy who was shipping it to the authenticator took like five days to ship. So I'm sure if it was shipped to the authenticator on time, it would have shipped to me significantly faster. Like I said, this pair was authenticated on the 25th and I received it on the 30th. Actually, it's really interesting. So to ship your shoes to eBay, they have you ship it through FedEx. I sell a lot of shoes through eBay, but then when they ship it to you, 
They ship it through USPS. I wonder why they do that. But now we get into the pair that I'm really excited about, the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined. And the reason I'm so excited about it is because one of these is gonna be my personal pair. Uh, the pair that I got to review was a size large. I couldn't rock it, so I gave it away. And now I'm gonna have a pair for myself. So I'm really excited about that. But let's start things off with StockX, which is the first website to have a pair arrive to me. It obviously was dropped off by FedEx, and it came in eight days, which is pretty solid. I know over the last couple years, StockX has gotten a bad rap, but I really think that they've turned things around. Obviously they're under new management. Uh, I think it's more of a big company now than it used to be in the past, which probably is good and bad, but they have done a pretty good job of, you know, doing things like adding instant ship, except it's not called instant ship, it's called like, um, shoot, rocket ship? Three day shipping? I don't know what they called it. They've also made moves to prevent selling of super early pairs that are probably fake. They've also added selling of collector's items like certain tech things and collectibles and Legos and things like that, which eBay does do, but GOAT doesn't do. So it is kind of a, a one up there. Obviously they did come with the, the bubble wrap that we got in the other package. This box does seem to fit the Air Jordan 4 pretty well. Now what's interesting about this pair, and one thing I said earlier on in the video that I was excited about with these pairs, is that this is an early pair. So this probably came from a back door somewhere. I don't know whose back door, but it came from a back door somewhere. So I'm excited to see if there's any weird issues with this shoe, which I kind of doubt, because they wouldn't have passed it if there was. But either way, we've got the StockX barcode right there, the box. Looks like it's in amazing condition, which would make sense because it was probably dropped off at a store and then immediately sold on StockX by someone who bought it from the store. The box is not damaged at all, in much better condition than any of the Air Jordan 1 boxes. Also, it's a little bit stiffer than those boxes. Size 9, which is my size. We've got the StockX receipt. So I grabbed this pair for $455.91. Moment of truth, let's check it out. These are clean, man. I'm really, really stoked on these. If you guys want to check out my review for the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen. This pair looks perfect. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased towards the pair. I think it is a good looking pair. Uh, it does have the StockX tag, like I mentioned. I am really interested to see if this scan takes you to the GE light bulbs that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> That's just insane to me. Uh, let me check out the other side of the pair. Okay, there's a little bit of fluff on there. I thought it was a, a mark or something at first, but whew, it's just a piece of fluff. We're fine. Yeah, looks like they're in really good condition. Not tried on. Awesome. Let me scan that QR code really quick to see where it takes me. And then we'll move on to the next pair. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Did not match any documents. All right, then what is it supposed to go to? There's something I'm missing here, right? There's gotta be something that I'm missing. I have no idea what's going on here. No clue. So the next pair of Air Jordan 4s came from eBay, and it actually came the exact same day as a pair from StockX. However, it actually came earlier in the morning. USPS, which delivered before FedEx, and that was eight days. I was trying to go in order of which pair came soonest, and I forgot that the StockX pair came what, like an hour after this pair? So technically this pair won. I don't know, I feel like it's not fair to count it against StockX because it was just a different shipping service. Again, you get the eBay branded box and it looks like they use the, uh, the same sort of padding. You've got your eBay authentication card right here. Here are the sneakers. The box, again, is in really good condition. It does look like it was pressed in a little bit on the top, but I don't think that was from the shipping box because the shipping box itself did get wet because they dropped it off in the rain and kind of left it in the rain for a while, which is really, really annoying. But the box itself, Seems totally fine. This one actually did come with a little card inside that just says deliver to... This probably wasn't supposed to come to me. This is UPS. Maybe this is from the guy who um, shipped it to eBay. I don't know. Either way, here we go. Here are the shoes. They look like they're in great condition. A little bit of an excess paint kind of sitting right there, but really not anything eBay could have done. That's purely a, a, a Nike issue. She looks great though. No issues whatsoever, not tried on or anything like that. Let me scan the QR code really quickly. Checked and authenticated by eBay. It looks like it was authenticated on January 19th. That's incredible. Size nine, new with box. So for this pair, after fees and shipping and everything, I paid $439.95, which is not bad. And it came the same time as StockX, so pretty happy with that. eBay definitely redeemed themselves with this pair after the other pair that took 13 days to get to me. Also, I should mention that this pair from eBay was the cheapest out of all three pairs. I think I already mentioned that earlier on in the video, but you know, still save like 10, 15 bucks. Depends on the listing that you're looking at, but not bad. But now we get to the final pair, the infamous pair from GOAT that was damaged. So it's kind of crazy, even with this pair being damaged and even with me having to reach out to customer support to be like, where's my pair at? It still got here before the eBay Air Jordan 1s. It came in in 12 days, obviously from UPS. I'm excited to see this box. They didn't send me any pictures of the box, so I genuinely have no idea how bad or decent the box is. I'm a little concerned, but this is a pair that I'm planning on keeping just because if I'm gonna rock it, if the box isn't too bad, it doesn't matter. Here we go, moment of truth. Is it bad? That's the bottom of the box, okay. Ooh. Oh, it's not that bad. It's just a, a hole punched through the top. But shoot, let's be real. I got this pair for $20 off purely because of that hole in the top of the box. So I'm not mad at that. I'll take a $20 discount for a, a dented up box lid any day of the week. Really not a big deal. You've got the go tag right here. Which actually, let me scan this barcode. 
I, I didn't scan the barcode on the first pair. I should have done that. Let's see. Oh, it's just the assurance of authenticity. So it's kind of a generic barcode. Kind of hoping it would show like, you know, the different punch out things that they used to do, but unfortunately not. This is the pair that I'm keeping. So I'm excited about this. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. The paper's a little ripped, but again, the box top is destroyed. So the paper doesn't really matter that much. The shoe looks like it's in great condition. No issues, not tried on. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm super excited to rock these. I'm actually gonna rock these tomorrow to church. Everyone at church will be like, yo. No one's gonna notice, but hey, still, I'm excited about it. This pair I originally purchased for $456.75, which would have made it the most expensive pair. The StockX pair was $455.91, so only by about a dollar. Because of the discount, I ended up getting this pair for $434.75, which is incredible. So save 20 bucks, not mad at that. And uh, now I got a new personal. I've gotta be honest, for the first time, I've done this video probably three other times, there is no clear winner. Each service had its pros and its cons, and I think for the first time ever, I would be fine buying from any one of these services. Now I will say, at least when it comes to price, eBay was the cheapest across the board, not counting GOAT's discount, which wasn't even supposed to happen, that was just something that happened after they got the shoes in their warehouse. For both pairs of sneakers, eBay ended up being like five to ten dollars cheaper than its competition. When it comes to shipping price, eBay was pretty consistent across the board, they were $14.95 for shipping for any of the sneakers that you bought, GOAT was a little bit cheaper at like $14.75, and then StockX, he added on the processing fee, which actually made it more expensive than all the services, but eBay overall was the cheapest, and I think that's because there's the most options when it comes to buying sneakers. StockX and GOAT both only list the cheapest price available, and they assume that all the sneakers are exactly the same. You don't get to look at each pair of sneakers and see if there's any weird defects or problems with it. Obviously, they will let you know if there is a problem with the sneaker when they get into their authentication warehouse like we saw with GOAT, but with eBay, you can actually get a first-hand look at the sneaker that you're buying, at least in some cases, and there's different options from different sellers. You can buy from a seller that you trust, it's a little bit more expensive, or you can buy from the cheapest seller available, and assume that it's gonna be fine because it still goes through eBay's authentication program. So even though this was a pretty limited test because obviously I only bought two pairs of sneakers from each place and I'm sure there's a lot of different variables that I didn't run into because I only bought two pairs of sneakers, for this particular test, eBay was the cheapest. And I will say that generally when I buy sneakers for myself, eBay does tend to be the cheapest. Not by much, like five to $10 max, but still, if you're trying to save five or 10 bucks, not a bad way to go. Now when it comes to shipping time, all three of these services were in the same seven day window between one week and two weeks. Consistency wise, StockX won. And while sure, GOAT did have a pair that came in seven days, it also had a pair that came in 12 days. And while eBay had a pair that came in eight days, it also had a pair that came in in 13 days. So again, super limited test, which means pretty limited results. But if we're going off just purely this, StockX tends to be the most consistent when it comes to shipping. So no, there is no standout winner. I guess you could sort of say eBay because it's the cheapest, but even still, it's kind of a toss up. And while that's kind of frustrating for the purposes of this video, at the end of the day, for a sneaker head who wants to buy sneakers for resale, this is best case scenario. You know that when you buy a sneaker from either of these services, you'll probably get a decent price, you'll get them relatively quickly within two weeks, and they'll be authentic in most cases. Obviously, that's not 100% guaranteed. We've heard stories of fakes getting through eBay, StockX, and GOAT. There's no way to 100% guarantee the authenticity of a pair of sneakers, but I would say, from my own personal experience, I've bought a lot of shoes from all three of these services, and I've never gotten a pair of fakes. That I know of, however, I've had most of them legit checks, so I'm pretty sure. But now let's get to the part of the video that I'm sure a lot of you guys were waiting for, and some of you might have even skipped ahead to get to, which is frustrating. Please don't do that. Please watch the whole video. <laughs> but that, of course, is how to win this pair of Air Jordan 4 breads. And entering to win this pair of sneakers is really easy. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel and my tech channel, which is linked in the description below. Once you've done that, comment subbed up underneath this video Video and subbed up underneath the video that I've linked in the description below. That's it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Subscribe to my tech channel if you haven't yet. And then comment subbed up underneath this video and that video, and you're good to go. This giveaway will run for three weeks from the time that this video goes live, so there's a lot of chances for you to get your entries in. Make sure to do that as soon as possible, though, just in case you forget. And also, make sure to be aware of the spam comments that I'm sure you're gonna get underneath your comments saying that you won or that I want you to reach out to me on Telegram. None of that is me. That is all a scam. I'm gonna announce the winner officially on the YouTube community tab. That is the only place it's gonna be announced. So please don't respond to those spam comments underneath your comment. Again, I'm gonna announce the winner three weeks from today on the YouTube community tab. But hey, that pretty much wraps things up for today. Let me know which one of these three services is your favorite, which one you use the most, and all of your other comments in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one.